Hi, I'm Ranger Erin, and today we're wondering why do crayfish dig tunnels? Kentucky has over 50 species of crayfish. That makes Kentucky one of the most diverse places in the world for crayfish. And one of the reasons that crayfish do so well in Kentucky is because we have lots and lots of stream habitat and wet fields for them to live in. But in the summer, many of these streams and fields will dry out being an empty creek bed or being a less wet field. Now that's a problem for our crayfish because they're crustaceans and crustaceans breathe through gills. So they're gonna need some water in order to be able to get that oxygen that they need. But even though the streams might be dry on the surface, there's still water underneath that ground. So if you dig down a little bit, it's gonna be wet. And our crafty crustaceans have become very good burrow engineers. Some crayfish are always just gonna have to live in water. So they're only gonna be able to survive in those pools that never dry out. Some of our other crayfish are gonna be able to dig a simple tunnel. So they're just gonna dig just deep enough until that tunnel floods. And it's just gonna be just below the surface. They're gonna come in and out of that when they need protection or need to rest. And they're gonna come out to gather some food. And then it's gonna be in that flooded tunnel just deep enough for them to be able to breathe with those gills, but close enough that they can go gather food. Our other third group of crayfish are gonna dig really elaborate tunnels and they are going to be up to six feet deep. They're going to have several side arms, side chambers, rooms, so that as that uh, water level changes throughout the year, they can just go deeper to another level and deeper and deeper and deeper as it gets drier and drier. And then when that water level starts to rise, they can go back up all the way to the top. But water underground can lose oxygen really quickly. And remember that was the whole purpose of them digging the tunnel in the first place is because they need that water in order to be able to breathe. But if they don't have that oxygen in there, that's gonna be a bad home for them. So our crayfish have actually learned how to build a ventilation system for themselves. They're gonna build these chimney snap stacks in order to draw in some oxygen and get all of that oxygen in the water so that they can breathe through their gills. Early spring is when we often see many of these chimney stacks popping up in fields and along stream banks. But if that crayfish is living in there in that tunnel, they're gonna maintain it and rebuild it every single time it gets broken down. So it's not just them kind of throwing out the dirt, they actually need that chimney stack in order to get that oxygen down to where they are. For your crayfish hike, you're going to go to some area where there's water, so close to either the edge of a lake or a stream. And you're going to walk along the edge and take a look and see if you can see any crayfish in the water. Can you see some tunnels along the edge? Are they those simple tunnels that just look like kind of a hole that uh, just goes down deep, or are they that more elaborate one that's going to have the chimney stack? When crayfish make their chimney stacks, they're gonna roll up balls of clay and they're gonna roll them up with their legs and their mouth and they're gonna carry them out and carefully place them in that chimney stack. So if you see that, take a look to see if you can notice the construction. Do you see the round balls? Is this a hard structure or is this a soft, wet structure? And then maybe you see one that's a little bit more simple without the chimney. For an outdoor experiment, we're of course gonna dig some tunnels of our own. So you're gonna use either a simple digging stick or a rock, or if you have a uh, shovel or a trowel, you're welcome to try that out as well. And you're just gonna kinda do some exploratory digging, dig down just deep enough until you start to notice that that soil starts to get really wet. How deep do you have to dig before you find that water underneath the soil? and try it in a few different places and see if it's what you expected. If it's closer to the water, how deep do you have to go? If you go up on a hill, how deep do you have to go? Thanks for joining me. I'll catch you all next time.